What's up, you two? Simply on Lucky and it's time for some Simply MTG. And then I'm gonna ask you guys to check out the channel and subscribe for more epic Magic the Gathering videos. All right, so Ixalan pre-release kits, you guys. We're flying through these uh, for the next, I think, just kind of this month. We're just focusing on Ixalan, seeing what we pull from the previous kits, enjoying the different cards, going over the flavor text, seeing what we would pull from these sealed decks if they were sealed decks. And uh, yeah, let's get started with our third pre-release kit here. Uh, so far, we've gotten only one uh, Mythic card. Mythic is, again, the orange rare. Higher, harder to get than regular rare. Um, and we had the... It was the Butcher of Magan. We've gotten an Unclaimed Territory. And nice, a Kinjali's uh, Sunwing. That's actually a pretty cool card because it makes your opponent's creatures come into play tough. And a white dice this time. Wonder if there's only white and blue or if they made one for each color. So that's pretty cool. It is a flying 2 3. I'd say it's a, it's worth maybe a couple dollars uh, if it wasn't foil. So being foil it probably makes it worth at least three or four. Nice to see that. Alright, you guys, six more packs. Let's do this. Let's get some more unclaimed territories. And it'd be nice to see a Planeswalker. We have a few in this set, so. Um, not too valuable, except for uh, Frasca. Dead Eye Tormentor. Storm Sculptor. River Herald's Boon. Put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature and a plus one counter on target Merfolk. That's really good if you're playing Merfolks. We are kin to the trees, and their strength is our own. Pounce. Prying Blade. The Caller, the Wayfinder, the Emergent Grove once again. Storm Fleet Spy. Oh, oh, the foil is a little closer there. Interesting. So the foil was before. Uh, we got a uh, Vance's Blasting Cannon. So this is the Legendary Land for Red. Let's check it out. And Dire Fleet Hoarder. It's a disease. It's a cost four legendary land or legendary enchantment to start at the beginning of your upkeep. Exile the top card of your library. If a non-land, if it's a non-land card, you may cast that card this turn. Whenever you cast your third spell in a turn, so in one turn, three spells, you may transform Vance's blasting cannons. With a broad side assault, Captain Vance carved the cliffs to form her new home. Oh, now that looks sweet. Spitfire Bastion. Add red, and then tap in three, deal three damage to our creature player. Now instead of a ship, Ripley Vance commands a fortress. That's, that's pretty cool. Gotta love those legendary lands. Spitfire Bastion, that's cool. All right. And they do hold some value, so that's pretty sweet. Let's keep it up. Legion Conquisidor, the Hoarder's back. Commune of the Dinosaurs. Cancel, first time seeing that. Hold your fire, obviously. Hijack. Uh, favorable wins, this is an interesting uncommon. Plus one, plus one. Um, creatures you control with flying get plus one, plus one. Wow, for a second there I thought it was. Creatures you control gain flying and plus one, plus one. That would be insane for two mana. <laughs> like ribbons of wind and wisdom of the coats, codals fly, twisting misery into the truth, shaping the clouds to suit their inscrutable will. Bellowing Agasar. Agus like a shield. Enrage, six for a three five. Thundering Spineback, seven for a five five. Create a three three dinosaur for six. Other dinosaurs get plus one plus one, wow. And treasure map, nice rare. It is a two cost. And that is the same as the token. It is a X marks the spot treasure map. It's pretty cool. Uh, scry one, put a landmark counter on treasure map. If there are three or more landmark counters, remove those counters and transform. And create three colorless treasure tokens. Sacrifice to add a mana. Which we uh, kind of keep getting in the back of those packs there. And once it transforms, treasure cove. Wow, look at that. 
add a colorless mana, or sacrifice a treasure to draw a card. That's pretty cool. Definitely sounds fun for limited play. So two, um, oh, I was going to say legendary lands, but I'll say transform lands. Because this one is not legendary. Treasure Cove. Half the treasure is glory, is the glory of finding it. You know, that's so true. Like when you guys play those MMOs or whatever, and you're trying to get that amazing equipment or that amazing sword or whatever, and then you finally get it and you're kind of like bored. <laughs> Half the glory is finding the treasure. Okay. Four more packs. Here we go. The Hoarder's Back. The Disease. Mark of the Vampire. One with the Wind. Gilded Sentinel again. Cancel. Colossal Dreadma. What's this guy saying? If you feel the ground quake, run. If you hear its bellow, flee. If you see its teeth, it's too late. That's what I like to read. That's probably my favorite one so far. Demystify. Ooh, nice. Another Storm uh, Tamer. Good card. By the way, we, I don't think we talked about it last time. One for a 1-1 one, one flying, so not terrible. Good and limited, but it has an effect. Sacrifice it to counter target spell or ability that targets you or a creature. He's the calm that hides the coming storm. Dire Fleet Captain's back. Another Vanquisher banner. Um, not a bad rare to pull, so I don't mind getting multiples. Once again, that's the creature types. Um, get plus one, plus one but it costs five, but then also when you pull, cast a creature card of that type, you draw a card. So you just choose a creature type when it comes to play, and voila. Dinosaurs, pirates, merfolks, whatever you want to do. Could be okay in limited play. I definitely think it'd be better in some sort of commander or deck that plays around it better. Queen's Agent. Pirate's Prize. Encampment Keeper. Run Around. Unknown Shores is back. Willy Goblin, Shapers of Nature. Um, Raptor Hatchling, first time seeing this guy in Rage. Whenever a Raptor Hatchling is dealt damage, creature, create a 3 3 green dinosaur with token with trample. Every little hatchling has a parent's claws to guard it. Cool. And a mythic rare, Overflowing Insight. is an intriguing card. Cost seven, target player draws seven cards. Too bad it's not an instant. Uh, the truth came to Kumena, like the great river's tor torrent. The only way to keep his enemies away from the hidden city was to claim its power for himself. So do the, the merfolks have the power of the hidden city? Is that what this is? So that is our second mythic rare here so for this opening we got two lands a banner we don't really have a deck here a themed colors color wise anyways so maybe we're gonna pull some merfolk merfolk rares here dead eye tormentor jade guardian shore keeper spreading the rot Raiders Wake, Dusk Legion Dreadnought, Bonded Horncrest, and Drowned Catacombs. Nice, another land. Wow. So we definitely got some value back with these land rares we're pulling, and we did get a Mythic and a Banner. So, like I'd say, we have you know we have at least ten dollars worth of our value back. And Drowned Catacombs, I believe, is one of the more valuable um, rares here for the lands. No one can tell how many vessels are tangled up on the seafloor, or how much treasure remains unclaimed. Alright, you guys, last pack. Shoot for a double mythic. Pretty this gift. Shipwreck Looter. Spreading the rot. Hierophant's Chalice. Interesting. Seems uh, like a decent common. Uh, and Kite Sail Freebooter. I believe this is actually a pretty decent uncommon in the set. Flying, and then when he enters the battlefield, target opponent reveals his or her hand, and you choose a non-creature, non-land card from it, and exile that card until this guy leaves the field. Yeah, that's pretty good, because you get to see your opponent's hand. Uh, Sentinel Totem. 
Enters the battlefield, scry one, exile, exile all cards from graves. Emissary of Sunrise. And a blood crazed paladin. So no, we end up getting a vampire. So we got, geez, what are our colors here? So that's the artifact. Red, black, blue. I don't know. The person who ever got this sealed deck here from this pre-release kit would not have had a fun time. It would have been all about the uncommons. And as always, you guys, thank you so much for watching. And please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content. And stay tuned for some more Ixalan pre-release kit openings. And simply, unlucky signing out. Thank you.